officers of the law right here in Baltimore County. They were wanted by their former peers for kidnapping two girls. And now we are just learning tonight that the officer involved in that abduction is dead. We're hearing that from multiple sources and sources here of our own. We have team coverage. This story has been changing by the minute. And let's start off now with WMER2 News. Kendall Green, who is covering it for us in the newsroom with what's going on. Kendall, yeah, yeah, Kelly, as you said, this scene is changing by the minute, and we have new details coming in, and they're changing over and over again. Now, here's what we know so far. A car matching the description of Robert Vacosa's last known vehicle was involved in a major crash, and in that crash, we can't confirm that Vacosa is dead. Now, this happened in Smithsburg, Maryland, over in Washington County on the west side of the state. Now, we do know Maryland State Police are in charge of the scene. And they promised they'll get more details to us tonight at 6. That's within an hour. Now, we're heading there, and we'll bring you the latest on that information. And our Dave Detling is on the way to the scene as well for the crash right now, and we'll hear from him as soon as he's able to give us an update. Now, again, we'll be heading to Pikesville at 6. But right now, we're going to go over to WMR2 News' Jeff Hager, who has more details uh, where, that, where the investigation in your is taking place. Uh, Jeff, what can you tell us tonight? Well, Kendall, we have some breaking news. The police chief just stepped out moments ago here in York, Pennsylvania, and relayed to us what exactly happened a few hours ago. It appears that police on the Maryland side cited the car that they've been looking for with the two fugitives and the two young girls inside it. Maryland State Police and others started to converge on it out in Washington County. It moved along slowly, then veered off the road. They tell us they started to encircle the vehicle. They won't tell us if there was any gunfire. It does not appear there was a crash. Yet inside they found a number of people who were deceased. They cannot tell us right now anything definitive about whether it was the, actually the two former cops and the two young girls that they say they're waiting to hear from the medical examiner on but it looks like this may have come to an end and this after just a, a heart-wrenching day here in york county where pennsylvania and maryland law enforcement officials all had come together making personal pleas for the children's safe return Fired back in August, former Baltimore County police officer Robert Vacosa allegedly abducted his two daughters, six-year-old Amina and Gianna, who was just seven, after assaulting their mother and stealing her car in Pennsylvania on Sunday. Later, Vacosa apparently ran the car into a creek in Red Lion, Pennsylvania, and went to a nearby camper where he surprised Barb Hummer before stealing her car at gunpoint. Now, what are you doing? What's going on? And he said, well, he said, I want to get the girls away from my wife's family. Police say Vacosa carjacked a man in Cockeysville on Wednesday, holding him against his will before releasing him. And there is now concern that each day he grows even more desperate. We have not spoken to him at this point, and there's no way that I can confirm what his state of mind may be. Um, we hope that he still remembers that he has uh, duties as a, a father, and he's going to do the right thing and bring these little girls home. Now suspended Sergeant Tia Bynum is suspected of aiding Vacosa and is believed to have participated in the latest kidnapping. Baltimore County Police Chief Melissa Hyatt traveled to York, Pennsylvania on Thursday and appealed to Bynum specifically. I would like to take a moment to speak to Tia Bynum personally. Tia, our priority is the safety and well-being of Gianna and Amina. Please get these two innocent and precious children to a safe location. You can drop them off at a public safety facility or any other safe location with a responsible adult to care for them. There is also concern that the two former cops have an advantage other fugitives lack. And that's their understanding of how police may go about trying to catch up with them. Tia Bynum was assigned to our Criminal Investigations Bureau. Um, you know, I, I can certainly say that when we have a, a situation that involves police officers or former law enforcement officers, our, our challenges are significant. But I do believe that both Bynum and Vicosa will do the right thing, which is, again, the priority for all of us of bringing these two children to safety. 
So again, it looks like the manhunt has ended in Washington County on the Maryland side. Deep hearts here in Pennsylvania, especially with the idea that many lives lost, although we don't know exactly who the deceased are. They haven't been identified at this point. The exact kind of tragic ending police here and on the Maryland side had hoped to avoid. Reporting live in York County, Pennsylvania, Jeff Hager, now back to you.